G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Sean Wordle and welcome back to 7 Days and welcome back to the No Repair Challenge. I can't repair anything as the name implies, but despite that rather significant hurdle, I am still alive and kicking. But today is a big day. I need to get out here pretty much immediately actually and start heading down to go see Trader Joel. I've got a couple of things I need to sell him, I mean all these things out of here I need to sell him to make some money and and hopefully buy a solar cell but more importantly i need to get the last couple of wiring books i need to get my relays going i've got my horde base out there primed and ready oh that's a lot of dogs all i'm missing is all the electrical traps i need to run the thing because at the moment it's lacking well, it's not lacking wolves gee whiz in fact if i could just get all of you to come this way please crouch and get some stealth damage that didn't do a lot. Do you guys like not react to gunshots then? I can't I can't even see through the <laughs> through the reflections on this uh on the reflex site. There, there you go. There you go. Alright, come over here. Are you guys gonna come up this way? I mean I know you got mad you can't climb a ladder, and that's fine. Come on, come on. This way. Up the stairs. Good boys. I'll give you all the lamby treats I can if you just make it up to the top of the bars up here. I mean, why waste ammo, right? Why waste ammo if I've got this whole thing built and set up? May as well use it. Oh, you're a big boy. You're a big boy. You're a big, very dead boy. You need to be too. And you too. It's like I've just ordered a whole bunch of meat and it's shot up on my doorstep. Perfect. I don't think there's any more doggos out here anywhere. I think I'm all good and sorted. Mm, yep. Okay, good. All right. Well, that's just a cheeky way to break in the day, I suppose. I've got a nice fat slab of meat on me. And you'll notice I also have a good amount of stone, 1,500 on me now. But that is just a fraction. A fraction of what I got last night. You're smelting away to make me all the cement that I need. You're going to need a lot more fuel in your fire, though, all the way up. I was going to leave you smelting that on my whole adventure today. So when I come back tomorrow, you should be right and sorted. I think I'm all ready to rock and roll. I will take a... Do I have a spare cooking pot somewhere? I do not. I could probably just make myself one. Someone in the comments once told me that I should take cooking pots with me on my adventures. And it's actually a really good idea. So if I find murky water or something and I do get stranded somewhere overnight, I can just use a cooking pot to real quick whip up some water or some food or just burn down some ingredients and uncucumber myself. So great shout on that one. Thank you for that. There was another doggo. There was another doggo. There goes another doggo. Mm, yeah, I'll harvest out. I'll harvest out. It's fine. We've already wasted like two hours though. Trade is about to open. All right. Time to hit the road. And by time to hit the road, I mean <laughs> bang about across the bush because there, oh, there is no road between me and Trader Joel. Of all, I mean, look at this shit. Of all series to not have a highway between towns. Why is it this one? Why is it the one series where I can't fix my bike? So every adventure is real bloody risky. Normally, I don't think I've ever played a game that didn't have any roads between towns, and this is just taking the piss. I reckon if things go well today and have a little bit of time up my sleeve, I have some sweet jumps out in the dunes. If I've got some time, I reckon I'm going to go and explore up that mountain. That mansion on top of the mountain, the mountain mansion, I want to go and have a gander at what's going on up on the very top of the world. Shit, sorry. I'm on the very top of the world up there. Oh, it didn't take any health off me, though. That's bloody lovely. All right, where is... Old mate. Old mate's right there. Put a little marker on you. I'm on my way, buddy boy. I hope you've got the solar cell I need. I did it. I <laughs> I didn't see the big block of lead in the shrubs and I clattered it. Took off, what, 14% of my bike health. That hurts. That hurts a lot. I've paid a high price for this adventure and I'm not thrilled about it. What I wouldn't give for a friggin' road of some sort. Where's all the infrastructure we need? I thought that tractor was a bear, but no, nope, it's fine. It is not a furry tractor, despite what Brick might tell you. Where are you? There's Trader Potatoes. Sneak on in. Or oh, actually, I mean, I still, I still don't have my sugar butts. Mm, I might not be able to do any trading just yet. I might have to go and see if I can find some more in case, unless you've got some right here. You don't, you sausage. Um, fuck. Okay, well, I can't... 
I can't do all my trading until I know I'm getting the best deal. I might just have a cheeky chin wag to yeah, you though and see well what you do here. actually have to offer. Water purifier mod, she is, but no. Facial pier- oh, I forgot about the facial pier- I thought they were gone. I didn't realize they were still in the game. All right, there you go then. You can even dye them now as well. <laughs> Get some woodle purple piercings going on. Got an armored up book. Got tactical warfare for assault rifle crafting. Farming's already done. Ooh, that's got an open book. So I finished my cooking adventure. Lovely. You don't really have an awful lot there, do you, champ? You've got a solar bank. Got some cement, some nails. You... You've really let me down. I came all this way. I yeah, battled up my favorite bike for, just to see you him. And you got dick all. Shit. That's, mm, that's a very big and unable to dislodge spanner right in my workings. Okay, well, new plan. Oh, I just, oh no. Get out of the way. I ran over. Oh, how was I supposed to see that? He'd burrow in like a sleepy wombat. How the dickens was I supposed to notice you in your fucking little burrow? God damn it. 77% out of my motorcycle now. Fuck off. <sighs> well, what I was going to say before I was rudely interrupted by the game sticking things in my earlobes. I am... Um, oh, there's one right there, actually. I have a new plan. Trader restocks tomorrow. Two sugar butts, thank you, finally. If trader restocks tomorrow, then I can spend the night in this town again and potentially go and see him tomorrow and benefit from that. Yeah, that's you. Yep, that's fine. Chuck you in as a vending machine right there. Which means, I mean, it's still early in the day, but that's okay. It's a bit of a bold move. I don't like being away from home overnight, but I think I've got to do it. There is a shooting range here, actually. It's a pretty good peel. That's a pretty good POI. That's an even better one. That, if I'm not mistaken, is Bob's boss. I ran over a truck. I'm now 74% health. Fuck me, Dad Woodle. Stay on the freaking path, please. All right. Tarmac or nothing from here on out. Bob's boss. I need super corn. So I'm still spending half of my money on freaking awesome sources. All right. All right. There may be a grace in the basement, but I'm ready to go down there. Piss off, please. Plus, actually, there's bulk cement in this place too, isn't there? This is a good find. Okay, well, before I do this, I do have that, like, that other base, the the bookstore. Do you reckon there's zombies back there again, or do you reckon it's still nice and clear? It's... Where is it in town? It's over that way, actually. Oh, spin you... No, don't spin you around, because I'm no longer bush bashing. My bike cannot stand up to my shitty freaking driving. I'm going to quickly go, chuck some shit into a box back at my other home away from home. Then go raid Bob's Boars. We've got all the pocket space I could need. Had a quick little stop off at the... What it is? It's like the post office, I suppose it might be. Just across the street. Don't need the paper, but thank you. Just get rid of you and check all the newspaper stands. Already found one of the fabled bar brawling books I'm so desperate to get my hands on. Another thing I can sell. Another thing I can sell. Was that about it? I think it was. Okay, so... You are just a assault rifle crafty book. I can now make a tier 5 AK. Fucking read you did. Copper, thank you for that one. <gasps> it's the Australian Bible. Drinking beer no longer blurs your vision and your buzz lasts twice as long. Cheers for that one. 25% less damage to enemies, but 25 more damage to blocks. Good one to have, actually. I'd never really make that mod, but I should. Okay, you guys can go in the sellable column down below. All right, sick as dicks. Let's quickly get over to the house then and drop some shit off. Lots to do today. I'm really hoping none of the zombies have respawned in here. I mean, everything's kind of open, so I should be able to see them before they see me. No one in there. Any, any eddies in here? Nah, looks all nice and clear. All right, sick as. Oh, I did leave some things in here last time. All right, fair enough. Well, you are going to be my sellables box. Chuck all of that into there so I don't get confused later. That can all go like that. You lot can go in there too. I didn't even make myself a campfire last time I was here. Probably fair enough though. You hold on to all of that. That can go in the bike. That's a sellable thing too, Josh. Please remember that. Okay, we're good. <laughs> nice little pit stop in, out, and gone in the blink of several eyes. Nice. Let's, oh, let's go get ourselves some super cool. Oh, look at that. Oh, another one. Thank you. Tacky Assault Rifle Quality 1. Like, I just can't help myself. If I see the newspaper stands especially, I have to stop off and grab them. But it seems to be worthwhile. I'm finding a lot of good books that I actually need. Even if it is in the Pine Forest.
Any more mailboxes at all? Any any's? Any anythings? Nothing over that side. Ooh, nothing over that side either. Oh, there's one. There's one. Quick little cheeky peek. What have you got for me? Ah, look at that. Forge ahead. Good option. New towns are rife with loot. All right. Here we go. Bob's Boars, how you doing? I'm ready to get in and all around you. Anyone hanging out in the backyard? I know where Gracie is, so let's worry about her just yet. Down below the pen. I'm actually, I'm actually weirdly excited. I've wanted to find a Bob's Boars for a while. Ooh, they've put it. Oh, it's all different now. That makes so much more sense though. Like, cause obviously Grace is living down in the caves down below. Her having like a sealed pen up here makes a whole lot more sense that the floor is broken. So this has been updated. This has been updated for 21. I don't think I've been through one yet. All right. Well, ready or not, here I go. Piggly. Are you all going to be aggressive pigs now? Because if you are, I'm a little bit concerned about it. You're gone. Where are all the others? I'm annoyed you didn't die on the first drop. You're up. Oh, hold on. Stay asleep. Nice, Gary. Gary the pig. Another one there. I don't know if you're going to wake up and be super aggressive. I think this one in this uh, this side over here normally is that one. <laughs> Not anymore, though. It's going to make sure of it. In fact, for this, I want to protect the longevity of my knuckles as much as possible. So, cheeky deeky tier 5 bone knife. I mean, it's just for harvesting purposes, not for fighting purposes. But yeah, I, going through and using my knuckles may be faster, but I can't make a new one of those. Found myself a suit jacket as well. I think that's the last bit that I needed to get my full lot of suit. I can deck myself out to the nines for Horde Knight like I'm Barney singing about the love of my life. Are you alive? I don't think you are. You're all fine. We're going to take less damage. Thank you. Less damage when I'm suited up. I think that's a good idea. I think that's, it still works even if I'm not specced into agility. But just kind of goes hand in hand with that. Plus, I look dapper as shit. Oh, look at that. Tier 4, 4x4. Four four. I can now make myself a nice Jeep. Although, <laughs> what that's going to do for me, I don't know. I can barely ride a motorcycle without breaking it every four feet. How the hell am I going to get a big bonking behemoth like that anywhere around the world with no roads? Despite the fact it's called a 4x4, four four, it's terrible for off-road. Are you lurking? Reckon you are? Nope, no one there. Someone behind that door. Close that door too, just in case. Oh, it's a copper. Was a copper. Fuck, I love the AK when you're specced into it. These things slap. There's a... A drop? It's not trade and restock day. What? Ha has that changed? That's a fucking long way away as well. On the other side of town, that's bloody rude. Have they changed when the drop's coming? Because it used to always be when it was trade and restock day. But he restocks tomorrow. And I didn't get a drop last tradey day. I'm very confused. I'm very bloody confused about that. But, I mean, I suppose it's there now. So, just going to have to go and get it. G'day, Sunshine. Goodbye, Sunshine. Anything else for me in here? I should actually... I should break... Oh, dude, I'm really chock a block. I should break down these beds because I do need some springs to make some mods for all my tools. I'm running super low on steel crossbow bolts, so instead, I'm going to go with the pistol. Three shots of the pistol gets it done. He required a couple of extras. It was a big beefy boy. Oh, you're not in a pen. Suddenly, I'm not quite as brave. Let's put the extra round in. Might have been a waste, but it's all right. Just got to make sure of it. Double tap. It is the zombie apocalypse after all. Right. Now I can take all the bacon, chuck it in my bike, and get back to my book house. Look at them. Look, they're just sleeping. They're fine. No. No. The only time in my life I've been upset to see purple. You're all supposed to be concrete bags. Shit. You just give me, like, like rotten flesh, don't you? Well, you give me nitrate. Well, I kind of need nitrate, so I'll take you with me. They've nerfed it. They've nerfed it. This used to be such a good place to come and get all your concrete needs, and it's all purple all the way through. You've robbed me. You've robbed me. You've given me more purple just to tease me. Could have given me a proper purple dive. Gave me purple boxes everywhere. Oh, God damn it. God damn it. 
I was like, this is good. This is fine. One of my favorite things is how much good stuff you get out of it. And now it's like the ultimate slap in the face. I can hear the sounds of fire down here somewhere. I can see a zombie. Quickly murder you. No one hanging out in the cupboard just there. Any others though? But while I'm here, give it on. I'm gathering all the purple bags, so may as well continue on that trend. That's my bolt back out of you, please. No. Jeez, I'm really getting much of my bolts back at all, am I? They come up. Don't mind me. <laughs> just gathering up all the manure. That's fine. Just your local trading. Oh, this is all very new. So there's. There's three lots of fire going through that. There's the super corner. That's got a new model. That looks sick, actually. I think there's only two lots of fire going through there. I am a bit cucumber. Wouldn't mind going out to the bike and just dropping some shit off. There's your nitrate, because... I mean, I know from other POIs that touching the buttons that turns off flame barriers usually spawn zombies, which is probably not a great shout for me to do right now. Take that. Take you. In fact, I don't even need those, so you can piss off. It's a lot of bones. Uh, you can get scrapped the stone. That can get turned to the building blocks. That can go away. That can go away. And I'm mostly, now completely, uncucumberfied. That's totally a word, don't ask. Someone woke up. Who is it? Just you. Can you please go away? A crawler. Don't get under the wheels of my bike this time, please. All right, we're fine. We're fine. We're good. Can I escape? My bike's around. Oh, my bike's actually right out the front, so that's fine with me. That worked out perfectly. All right, now that I'm no longer cucumbered, I can start tickling some buttons and see what happens. Oh, I don't know what's going to spawn, but we'll give it a go. Yellow is actually going into there. I don't know if yellow is actually doing anything. Okay, so red. Oh, no, that's the yellow bit. Okay, so... Is green not pissing out any flames? Let's look at his right now. Yellow. You're gone. I already did the red, didn't I? Oh my goodness. So there's like... So I've got all three on. Off. This... Is this like a puzzle? It's a... It's a... It's a puzzle. So I've got to get all three of them off somehow. Oh! I don't know what I did. I don't know how I did, but somehow I did it. Okay, so... That's cool. I haven't seen something like that before. So it's no longer just like this pipe, turn it off, gas goes off, flame goes off. That's like an honest to goodness, like find the right combination of buttons. That's bloody sick as dicks. But this is also sick as dicks. Supercorn. Nom. Three out of you. Thank you. And that's got to be like a guaranteed spawn, right? I mean, I could already make it because I'd already expected to living off the land, but... Nah, that's gotta be. I, I refuse to believe that's just a random luck of the draw thing. That's too perfect. That's too sus. You know what I reckon, actually? I reckon they've changed that. I reckon they've put those seeds there. So when people come here, because you speak, you know, you'd come and find a supercorn and you'd have to decide, do I use the supercorn straight away or do I turn it into seeds? And now that living off the land is garbage, unless you're max level, uh, I guess people were just using the supercorn straight away and never making the seeds out of it. So so giving the schematic for it right then, plus some extra seeds to go on plants. Smart, smart cricket. I appreciate that. Speaking of things I appreciate, how are all of you all of you doing? It's a lot of dead corn, but some good corn. Okay, so you no longer have bolt corn down here, but you get the seeds upstairs. Probably actually pretty balanced. I like that. This has all been updated down here too. Oh Jesus, the ominous fog rolls in. I mean, now I'm now I'm wondering how much of this is, like, hard-coded. Like, does it always get foggy every time we come down here? Because if it does, I mean, it's real ominous and real spooky groupy. Grab you. It is October after all, I suppose. We can break you down for the iron. And then I've got to fight Grace. I do have an AK, which is pretty bloody good. And I'm spec well into it. So I think that's going to be my best shot. But I'm not confident about this at all. Grace will fuck me up unless I get real lucky with it. Oh, I've got to try. got to try my best. I will quickly pop you just in case there's acid in you. There was not. I think I'll have something in it to get that. Ten more bullets. It's going to make all the difference. They've changed this as well. There's no more breakaway floor. It's just... Oh, that's really cool. Just an ominous drop down to some pretty sick looking lighting. 
Why did I have to do this after I just turned up the difficulty? Grace is always a real bad news day on a when you're on lower difficulties, but now, uh, what level are you actually? You're doing 58 rounds per. Mm, 102. Okay, so I think. Please don't wake up. Didn't wake up. Okay. Shh. <laughs> Everyone be fucking quiet, please. So if I go crossbow bolt first, I'm going to get like triple damage on you, which is going to be more than the AK, but I'm going to not get the chance for an insta D cap because I'm no longer specting into agility. I don't know. I don't know. Something tells me with all this new stuff that she's going to be tanky as fuck. So I need to have some sort of way to escape. If I put you there, there's a little notch up there. So shit goes wrong. Hopefully I can bail up there, jump and skedaddle and hopefully keep myself alive. In fact, if I put a bolt through your leg, do you slow down? No, it was only like, that was, it says all but the toughest enemies. I feel like Grace is as tough as it's going to get. <sighs> all right, Gracie, let's do it. Right in the eye socket, blind you please. Boop, like that. She's copper. Copping it like a champion, but I'm more of a champion than you. That's worth a teabag. That's worth a teabag. You may be big and green, but I'm bigger and greener and happier. Thank fuck for all those that was in AK. AK will save me. Cheers for that one. Did a few extra damage too, but we're all good. Didn't even need my sneaky escape route. Into the box on the first try. Lovely. Passing gas box. Oh, no power. Do you have five wiring books in you, please? Because that's what I'm really after today. Take all of that. Ooh, a trap book and a battery. So not, not a wiring book at all. Medical book, thank you. Don't need the paper. Check the car parts box for harvesting tools and repair tools. I can sell you. Although, what are you actually worth? 20 bucks. Fuck it. I'm not, I'm not losing an in inventory spot for $20 redos. Knuckles, machine gun parts, and robotics crafting. Not too bad. Last but not least, the big boy chests. Jennifer's treasure map, a beaker, first aid kit, some ammo, and an armor plating mod, which can go just into you, I guess. There you go. All right, so wasn't particularly spectacular on the looting front, but at least I made it all through. And just having that super corn is worth its weight in corny gold. Grab the key, open the door, and away we go. Success. Let's chuck whatever I can into the back of the bike. Thank you. Trade you over for that one. So good. So good. I'm a little bit peckish as well, so slap you in. I'll save rid of the treasure until I'm back in the desert, because then at least... Oh, don't go off-road, please, because your bike... Holy shit, what happened to my bike? 48% health now? What the fuck happened there? Did some bloody muppet outside, some decayed, decrepit dickhead, show up and whack my bike for a bit? I keep looking like it's got to change, like it's some sort of glitch. 48% health, what the fuck, dude? That's absolutely not supposed to be how it's supposed to be. I need to steal out of those bowsers, though. I can't believe that, what a stitch up. There's an ATM out the front of this place, actually, which is pretty bloody bonza. Cheeky extra thousand dollar dues is never a bad day. But I'm also kind of hoping... Yes! There's a working vendor in the back of you. There is no sugar butts, but that's okay. You can't win them all. G'day, hot stuff. How are ya? Thank you for knocking on me door. Let me know you're there. Do you want to get to the ATM as well? Too bad. There's a wall safe in here and a bookshelf for absolutely nothing. I'm not going to bother picking you open. It's quicker at this point just to whack you to death with the pickaxe, and I'll save my lockers for the ATM outside. It's also half past six at night. I still want to get up onto the mountain house and see what's going on up there. I might do one last little circle around town, grab any newspaper stands I could find or any mailboxes or whatever, then get up the mountain. Ooh, laser sword. I'll scrap you. I'll take you. I... Do you have any space in you? You do. There you go. You're now clapped out. You're welcome. Extra damage is always good. Thank God I used the pickaxe on the wall save because it's breaking all of my picks to get into the ATM. Finally. Thank you for... Oh, that's spicy. Holy, that's spicy. That was like $1,800 redos, like $1,200, bucks, but $800 redos worth of cash out of you. Lovely. Do want to quickly check the roof, though, because someone told me that you had a girlfriend that looks like a boyfriend. More importantly, that there was apparently a sneaky box up here. There was so... Servo box, pop you open. I've missed so many of you over the journey, that means. 
Salvage tomb. I can make a ratchet quality one. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Don't mind if I do. Cheers for that. Just making my way through suburbia, looking for any mailboxes I can. Park up here. Oh, there's a park on both sides of the road. I was about parking my motorcycle, but all right, fair enough then. That is what I was after. Newspaper stand. I can sell you. I don't need that. Is there a... Oh, basketball court. Is there a vending machine at this place? I feel like there was... Once upon a time, could we check you for just some fluids? Thank you. There is a vendo, but it's the wrong kind of vendo. Mm, nah. Nah, not good enough to tempt me. It is a working vendo, though, but just for drinks. Never mind. I'm looking for knowledge. Oh, look at that, though. Is that a... Is that the robotics place? I feel like it may be, given it's got robotics trucks all over the shop out here. It is so... All right, you. I'm going to mark you because you're, uh, you're going to raid first thing tomorrow. Should we make it tomorrow? That has been a pretty dicey day so far. Trap crafting, robotics. No, dude. I need the wiring books. Why is wiring books so hard to find? All right, my dream of being a master of all things electricity seems to have averted me for yet another day, but... There's still some very big dreams I've got that live on top of that mount- uh, On top of the mountain. Please don't try and hit that gap in the fence, Josh. Uh, in one of these directions. Just gonna real quick drop everything off inside and get cracking on. Need to clear the place before the night actually sets in. Which it's about to be. I might have left this too late, but I'm committed. Before I go, just gonna chuck down my campfire. I'm gonna grab you, the beaker as well, because why not? And chuck them both in. There you are. Okay. Nice little smart play. Chuck down that so I can get my wireless crafting happening. Take all of you. Thank you very much. Just chuck all of that back into you again. Because I can't use the wireless crafting out of, like, uh, world crates. It has to be ones that I've made. That's all good. All right, you. Here's some fuel. Cook up what you can. Can you make some water for me? Sure can. And... So, some baked potatoes? Sure, why not? It's going to be here waiting for me to come back home tomorrow. Perfect. Well, with that working away, where is the big mountain? It's over this way somewhere, isn't it? There it is. Mountain house. Over that way. All right, got to find the biggest mountain in the land and get to the top of it. It's going to be a bit of an adventure as the sun's setting. <laughs> Listen, you got to go up high to see a good sunset. Trust me, this should, this should hopefully be worth it. Are you, are you good? Are you okay? Oh, damn it, I don't have time for you, but I need the loot. Shit. Finally got into it. I broke one of my lockpicks, but so be it. It was worth it. Almost two grand out of you. Uh, no frothies, but uh, you know what? I'll take a coffee. I'll take a coffee. Uh-oh, if I'm going to the top of the world to see a sunset, I want to have something delicious to drink while I'm there. If I can see anything, this fog needs to go. If there's a building at the top of the mountain, there has to be some sort of like little like dirt road that leads back down to some other road. Because all like those little wilderness POIs have a path to them. So I'm just gonna find the path. I'm just gonna find the path out here somewhere. It's getting so late though. It's getting so late. Sod it. Up we go. Straight up the mountain we go. G'day, copper. How are you? Don't mind me. Just go on bushing in my brand new motorcycle. Oh, it's so uh, it's already half dead. I feel so bad about that. It was well too silly of me to try and ride up a mountain. And so I've come back down to like the plains down below and I'm not really finding anything I want I hoped. I've gone... <laughs> I've gone all the way around. It hasn't been perfect, but it somehow worked. Where the hell is the path that leads up there then? I'm not even... I don't even know what freaking mountain I'm supposed to be climbing. My little marker didn't really work. I... I don't know. It's probably over there somewhere. It looked like it was so close to where I was, but it's not... I've done, I've done a dumb, I've done a dumb, this was silly, I'm going home. This was so stupid. I've clipped a couple of rocks on the way back home, now down to 36% health on my motorcycle. Never again. Never again am I going off-road, that was a terrible bloody idea. All right, stick to the blacktop, please. Silly. Absolutely bloody silly. I got too distracted by the idea of somewhere cool to look at a view from, and I've sacrificed my motorcycle for it. It was so expensive to make as well. Oh, I have so many regrets. All right, I'm home. I'm, I'm not home, but I'm at my uh, my home away from home. Oh, that sucks. Uh, you, please come to me. I suppose I did make <laughs> like 1,800 bucks from that. Oh, dear. From just like going down the street a little bit. I probably could have done that without going up the hill and breaking my motorcycle, but it is what it is. You come out of here, please. Old mate's having a trundle. That's fine. You do you. 
Didn't give him my bolt back either. Heckin' rude. Nothing else for me here. No, I think we're good. Cobber. Sit and gobble that for me. I definitely would have raided you guys, didn't I? I did. All right. Time to call it, Josh. Time to call it. If you've had a day, you probably just need to, like, just wrap it up, go lie down, and think about what you've done. It's now after midnight. And there's not a lot for me to do in here, so I'm just going to bunker down and hope no one finds me. Looks pretty bloody cool with the lantern light, though. I like it in here. So tomorrow... So I didn't find the mountain house, nor did I find the road to the mountain house. There's no paths coming out from the south of this town either. So somehow... There must be so many highways over here that I just can't get to. But tomorrow, first thing in the morning, in fact, before morning even, I might leave early, go and hit up that vending machine just down there. Oh, I can get that one afterwards, actually. Go hit that one first. Go and get the drop that's out here. Then come back, see Trader Joel, grab the other vending machine too, see what it's got to offer, and then start my journey back home again. Back to where back to where I have some roads to drive on. What a day it was. We got our supercorn though. We murdered Grace. We got supercorn seeds. So there are some positives, but a lot of negatives. But I'm gonna have to come back and try and deal with those negatives in another episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.